Let us talk about Acrocanthosaurus, the king of Jurassic. In the annals of prehistory, where colossal creatures once roamed the earth, one predator reigned supreme during the Jurassic period, Acrocanthosaurus. Aptly named for its high-spined vertebrae, this formidable dinosaur stood as a towering giant, showcasing a remarkable blend of size, strength, and distinctive physical features. In this video, we delve into the world of Acrocanthosaurus, exploring its classification, anatomy, habitat, behavior, and the significant role it played as the king of Jurassic predators. Discovered in the early 1940s, Acrocanthosaurus made its mark in paleontological history as a massive theropod dinosaur. The first fossils were unearthed in Oklahoma, USA, by J. Willis Stovall and Juan Langston Jr., providing paleontologists with a treasure trove of skeletal remains. Classified under the family Carcharodontosauridae, Acrocanthosaurus shared its lineage with other formidable predators like Carcharodontosaurus and Gigantosaurus. Acrocanthosaurus was a behemoth of the Jurassic era, measuring around 38 to 40 feet in length and weighing an estimated 6 to 7 tons. Its most striking feature was the series of elongated neural spines that ran along its back, forming a dorsal sail. These spines, believed to be extensions of the vertebrae, set Acrocanthosaurus apart from other theropods of its time. With a powerful jaw and sharp teeth, Acrocanthosaurus was well adapted for a carnivorous diet. Its forelimbs were relatively short, typical of theropod dinosaurs, while its hind limbs were robust and designed for swift movement. This combination of features suggests that Acrocanthosaurus was a formidable predator capable of both ambushing and pursuing its prey. Acrocanthosaurus fossils have been discovered primarily in North America, with findings concentrated in states such as Oklahoma and Texas. The discovery sites indicate that Acrocanthosaurus thrived in a variety of environments, from lush coastal regions to semi-arid landscapes. The Jurassic period in North America was characterized by diverse ecosystems, and Acrocanthosaurus played a crucial role in shaping the predator-prey dynamics of the time. As a top-tier predator, Acrocanthosaurus likely targeted large herbivorous dinosaurs of its time. such as the sauropods and ornithopods that roamed North America during the Jurassic. The combination of its size, strength, and the potential intimidation factor of its dorsal sail suggests that Acrocanthosaurus may have employed both ambush and pursuit tactics in hunting. The dorsal sail has been a subject of speculation among scientists. Some theories propose that it served as a thermoregulatory structure, helping Acrocanthosaurus regulate its body temperature. Others suggest that the sail played a role in species recognition or courtship displays, adding a layer of complexity to the dinosaur's behavior. Acrocanthosaurus holds a significant place in the study of Jurassic dinosaurs, providing researchers with valuable insights into the diversity and adaptations of theropods during this period. Its discovery has contributed to our understanding of the ancient ecosystems and the intricate web of interactions among prehistoric creatures. In popular culture, Acrocanthosaurus has found its way into various forms of media, from documentaries to fictional portrayals in books and films. Its imposing size and unique dorsal sail make it a captivating subject for both scientific inquiry and the imagination of dinosaur enthusiasts. What distinguishes Acrocanthosaurus from other Jurassic predators, and how did it earn the title, the King of Jurassic? Acrocanthosaurus stands out due to its impressive size, reaching up to 40 feet in length, and its distinctive dorsal sail formed by elongated neural spines. The title, King of Jurassic, is attributed to its role as a top-tier predator during the Jurassic period, where it played a significant role in shaping the predator-prey dynamics of its ecosystems. What is the significance of the dorsal sail on Acrocanthosaurus, and what are the prevailing theories about its function? The dorsal sail on Acrocanthosaurus is a series of elongated neural spines along its back. Scientists have proposed various theories about its function, including thermoregulation, species recognition, or even a role in courtship displays. Research continues to explore the purpose of this unique feature and its contribution to Acrocanthosaurus behavior. 
Where were the primary fossil discoveries of Acrocanthosaurus, and what do these findings reveal about its distribution and habitat during the Jurassic period? Acrocanthosaurus fossils were predominantly discovered in North America, with key findings in states such as Oklahoma and Texas. These discoveries indicate that Acrocanthosaurus inhabited a range of environments, from coastal regions to semi-arid landscapes, showcasing the adaptability of this Jurassic predator. What were Acrocanthosaurus preferred prey, and what hunting strategies are believed to have been employed by this dinosaur? Acrocanthosaurus likely targeted large herbivorous dinosaurs, including sauropods and ornithopods, as its primary prey. Its size, strength, and potential intimidation factor from the dorsal sail suggest that Acrocanthosaurus may have employed a combination of ambush and pursuit tactics in hunting, making it a formidable predator in its ecosystem. How has Acrocanthosaurus contributed to our understanding of Jurassic ecosystems, and what is its legacy in paleontological research and popular culture? Acrocanthosaurus has played a crucial role in advancing our knowledge of Jurassic ecosystems, offering insights into the diversity and adaptations of theropods during this period. Its fossils have become key specimens in paleontological research, and the dinosaur has also left a lasting impact on popular culture through its portrayal in documentaries, books, and films, captivating the imagination of dinosaur enthusiasts worldwide. Like the video and remember to subscribe to our channel.